welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel and this is the first video you are going to watch, I hope you do stick around. We do talk about everything related to the Chris Watts murders. So if this is a case that you just can't let go or if something doesn't seem right, this is the place to be. And as always to all my returning subs, I hope this video finds you all at a great place mentally, physically, spiritually, and financially. And with that being said, let's get started. And I told you guys I would keep you guys updated with anything new that gets released for the Chris Watts murders. And there was an audio released last night by another creator who I've mentioned before. Goes by the name of Chris Watts Revelation. And it's a phone recording between Ronnie Watts, who is Chris Watts' father, and this woman whose name is Kim. She's the creator behind the channel. And even though I 100% do not agree with this channel's theory they are putting out there, I did appreciate hearing from Ronnie Watts because I feel like we really haven't heard much from him these past two years. He has been silent and we have heard from Chris' mom, Cindy Watts, and we all know how that played out. I did find it interesting what Ronnie had to say. I think it gives us a good insight of what went on behind the scenes with the family that we didn't get to see. And also I will link in the description box um, part one of that audio if you want to head over to that channel and listen to it. So it starts off this audio pretty much Ronnie says that he agrees with this channel and everything being put out there and he appreciates Kim and I did think that was funny because we all know that that's one question that everybody is asking if the Watts family is aware of it and if Chris is aware of it what are their thoughts so I did think it was funny that that's the first thing that is coming out of his mouth I'm sure Kim um, wanted that to be put out there. Then Kim asks Ronnie, "Did when did you see Chris when he was in North Carolina and how many times did you see him? And then for those that don't know, Shanann Watts flew out to North Carolina. Her family lives out there. That's where she is from. And she flew out there June 26. She flew out there with CC Bella and her dad. And then she stood out there for six weeks. Chris did fly out there and the last week and to reunite with her and then, of course, visit with family too. Ronnie says that he didn't get to see Chris until the very last day before they left back to Colorado and that Shanann and Chris and the girls were at the beach and of course Ronnie and I guess Cindy and his family were also at the beach at the same time but they didn't see each other because Shanann didn't allow it is what he said. Um, I thought that was interesting because I didn't know that they were both at the beach that that one time of course not together or not near each other but they were at the same beach and at the same time I didn't know that then when Ronnie talks about the last time he seen Chris and only time he seen him was that one time before they actually left to Colorado and they had a cookout and he had to go pick them up and he couldn't see the grandbabies that one last time and I want to play that little part for you guys really quick when he talks about um Chris being at his house during that cookout and what they talked about. All the grandbabies. And we cooked out and just sit around and talk and stuff and clean out on the porch. And that's when he told me that they, she only knew that they, they wanted to get a divorce and <clears throat> that he was looking for an apartment, a little two bedroom apartment with bunk beds for him and the girls. Was, uh, that's how his life is going to be from now on. He'd only more or less set a schedule up in a month or so out from that. So, you know, I worked the schedule and you'd have them, you know, one week, you'd have them the next week type thing. So, so you guys did know he was getting separated or getting a divorce? Well, that's, that's the first we've heard of it. That yep. man, she already knew about it. And actually the house is already, already for sale right. on the market. In the beginning of that audio, did Ronnie say that Shanann only knew about getting a divorce? And if he did say that, what else did Chris tell Ronnie that Shanann didn't know about? Possibly the mistress? Then Kim goes into the letter that Chris wrote in North Carolina while he was at his parents' house. And I was really disappointed that Ronnie didn't go into more details of why this letter came about. 
I wanted to know, did anyone tell Chris to write this? Um, and what was Chris telling the family that this letter came about? Ronnie just goes and starts talking about the whole NetGate incident. He said that Shanann and Cindy got in a couple of arguments, one being um, when Shanann thought Cindy was trying to give CC nets, and he says in reality it was ice cream, vanilla ice cream. And he also brings up another time where prior to that, Shanann and the girls were at the house at Ronnie's and Cindy's home, and Cindy had a hair appointment, went to her hair appointment, and then after the hair appointment, she went to go visit Ronnie at work to go sign some paperwork, and she had left her phone at the hair salon. So then allegedly Shanann calls Ronnie and is really upset, saying something like, you leave me here for five hours with these kids. Not sure if that's Ronnie's way of explaining Shanann maybe acting erratic. I'm not too sure. My own personal opinion when it comes to this letter is that I think Chris was in North Carolina trying to make Shanann seem unstable to his family. And if you're like some who believe that Chris was going to set it up where Shanann's car was at the service site and Shanann and the girls be in the car, an explosion would happen. I think this letter would tie into that. Then Kim asked Ronnie, what did you think when you first heard about Shanann and the girls missing? And Ronnie said he just thought she took off with the girls um, to punish Chris, that that is something that she would do. But it was no red flag, I'm guessing, to Ronnie. And then she asked about what did you guys talk about when Chris picked you up from the airport. And what she means is that on August 15th, um, we do know that Chris in the morning went to pick up his dad. His dad flew from North Carolina to Colorado because Shanann and the girls were missing. Ronnie says that one thing Chris was saying that he didn't catch was that law enforcement was trying to call him and Chris kept getting failed phone calls. I just think it's funny that all of a sudden Ronnie remembers that because Kim has said before that the only thing Ronnie has told her was that he said Chris said that he wished he just would have went to the Rockies game. That that's what that conversation in the car was mostly about and then I think about sports but now He's remembering Chris said that. It's just funny to me because I just made that video about Chris hanging up on law enforcement. He does bring up again that Chris said that he wished he just would have went to the Rockies game on that Saturday night. And for those of you that don't know what Saturday night was, obviously it's the day before the murders. And it was also date night between Chris and the mistress. And Chris also says this in the Wisconsin interview that he wished he would have just went to the Rockies game and not went on that date. And he also says something that maybe a light switch would have went off in his head or in the mistress head. Something like that he says. But I just feel that that night, whatever was discussed at that date, it sealed Shanann and the girl's fate. Kim then asks Ronnie about when they were in the police station, was there anything that was redacted from the audio? And Ronnie says, yes, there was something that he remembers and that sticks in his head. And I'm going to play that little part for you guys. Yeah, because when we was talking, when he told me what happened, and actually and told me where the girls were at, and he said, Dad, I could not put them with her after what she did to him. And then right after that, he said she was evil. So they obviously re didn't, like, they redacted that and didn't release that to the public. Um, so I everyone... About, I thought about, about something on it to say to my mind when he said, when he, you know, when I, when I found out where the girls were at, he said, Dad, I cannot put them with her after what she did to them. And then she just asks Ronnie about why Chris has no emotions and people ask her all the time about it. And Ronnie pretty much just says Chris is just like Kim. Ronnie doesn't show emotions at all. And then Kim asks him about after Chris had confessed, what happened next? And Ronnie said that they took him away and then Ronnie, they sent Ronnie to a hotel because obviously he had nowhere to stay. 
and the next morning he did call to try to speak with Chris or find out information like what's going to happen where is he and that he was given no information and that he they told him he couldn't speak to Chris and they didn't even tell him where Chris was at then Ronnie says that he was going back to the airport I'm not sure if it was the next day he doesn't really say but that he was going back to the airport going to go home and then that's when he finally got the phone call from the defense lawyers and he turned around and went back but he still was not able to see or talk to Chris and that's where part one ends I will have part two ready for you guys tomorrow again if you want to listen to that whole part one you can head over to Chris Watts revelation in the reckoning and I'll also have part one linked in the description I highly recommend listening to it because like I said in the beginning we really haven't heard anything from Ronnie Watts he's been really silent and the only other person who's really remained silent would be Jamie Chris Watts sister that's gonna wrap up this video I hope you guys enjoyed it as always hit that like button share it and it's just a free way you guys can show your love and support for me and I will talk to you guys all soon have a great night